the ugly truth about my VW Golf Mark 7 that replaced my Range Rover Sport. Why ugly? We'll get to that later in the video. Let me tell you an old story about my supercharged Range Rover Sport. Connect, stop, stop. Yeah, I think you're through it, yeah? If you're new to the channel, please, please, please make sure to subscribe before leaving the channel because I have a goal of reaching 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you can help me reach that goal, it'd be amazing. Now, subscribing is 100% free. You don't need to do anything. All I have to do is just click subscribe. You don't need to pay anything. It's absolutely free. Come on, man. Just click subscribe. Click subscribe. Come on. Help our brother out. Click subscribe. So I had this Range Rover Sport in an amazing color. It was actually called Firenze Red. It was a fully spec car. It had a hit-up display, it had a fridge in the middle. It was almost new and, well, it was a second hand, but it, so it's almost new. And it was owned by one of the Land Rover uh, directors. So it was kind of like a show car. There's only one of it in the UK, actually, in the world at that spec, in that engine. I, I couldn't find a different one. There's, there's not another copy of it. They did it specifically for this person. They drove over 5,000 miles maybe or something like this and then we bought it. But yeah, it was it was different. It was different for sure. We used to go on trips with it. We used to go off-roading with it. We used to go everywhere with it. But you know what? At that time, I had that Range Rover Sport on finance. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did because that car had a lot of issues that I could not fix. I wish if I could fix it, but I could not fix it. So I went through a process called rejection. That means that you could reject the car, return it to the, well, the seller and get your money back. And I was lucky to do that because after two years of ownership and after all of these problems, I was able to return it and get my money back, which is rare. It's definitely rare, but it happened. So the pandemic hit just when I got rid of the car and the secondhand market was going up in price. So it was very difficult for us to find the correct Range Rover for us. At that time, we were looking at a Range Rover, the big Range Rover, the one like the L322 or the newer model, or we were looking at Range Rover Sport, but we couldn't find the correct one for us. Today is the 28th. Let me check. Yes, 28th of December. Uh -huh. 2020. Uh-huh. This move of changing cars was a good move, but it was also a sad move. I really didn't want to let go of my previous Range Rover Sport. Now it's time to answer why the ugly truth. I would say it's like a bittersweet moment where I have to look through the silver lining of where this journey has brought me. Without selling the Range Rover Sport, I would not have been able to purchase this vehicle and then continue looking for a Range Rover and end up with the current L322 that you guys have been watching for the past many videos. But then, the oil leak. And there is a apparently a rocker cover that is leaking from. If I damage the engine, the car will be scrapped. It's as simple as that. And this is where the journey of this channel picked up at the beginning of this year. And that's where we had to do another difficult choice. We had two choices back then. We could either sell the car or try to fix it ourselves. Because I'm not going to pay four grand or more to Land Rover dealer to try to fix this problem. And this time, I wasn't gonna let go of the second Range Rover. 
and I didn't want to lose it again, just like what happened in the first Range Rover. And also, I want you to take this opportunity to learn on how to fix the engine, and I didn't want any one of us to be in the same position. So I wanted to make sure to document how I fixed it and show it online to you so you don't have to lose your Range Rover like I did previously. So really, it's a win-win. It, number one, I fixed it. And number two, I get to help you, I guess. Well, I hope so, at least. So you don't have to lose your car like I did. I really like that car. I actually did like it a lot. But it just things happen, life. And now this is where this car comes in play. So what can we do about it? We could put an induction kit over here. Uh, we could change the wheels. We could uh, add a spoiler in the back. Uh, we could do a lot of things. We could change. Uh, we could change the top. We can vinyl wrap it. We could make it black. We can put a black bonnet. We can. What can we do? We can highlight the rear lights. So we could do a lot of things with the car. But this is where I need your input. So what do you think? What should we do with this car? I really like your input on this because it's very important. So put down in the comment below what I should do in this car and. If you actually do want to see on this channel or if you don't want to see on this channel so lastly i have to tell you that from about monday or tuesday the channel will have a new logo the new logo will definitely be the range rover sport so keep an eye for that logo and tell me your opinion about it and with that in mind please make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you on the next one Why your mirror is uh, not aligned? Your left one is down. <laughs>